uh, having discussed the uh, measurement of historical risk and return we now move on to discussion of the measurement of expected return and risk now suppose that the expected ret return and the risk uh, uh, firstly uh, before discussing the uh, risk and the return for first discuss what the, how to actually calculate the expected return on the uh, on the security or on an investment now the expected return on an investment is defined as the summation of all the returns from 1 to n multiplied by its respective probability now let us take an example say for example uh, I have different states of economy Now, say for example, I have a boom period. I have the normal period. And I have recession. Now, uh, the probabilities of these uh, uh, states of economies are also given. These are as 0 0.30, 0 0.50, and 0 0.20. Now, uh, I am given the returns on two squarities, ITC Limited, and I am given the return on the uh, another squarity, say for example, Wipro. Now, I am taking the hypothetical figures here. Uh, say for example, it is 16. It is 11, it is 6. Uh, here it is 40, here it is 10, here it is minus 20. Now, uh, if I am uh, asked to calculate uh, the uh, expected return on these on these two squarities, how would I actually calculate? So, the expected returns. Firstly, let me calculate the expected uh, return for ITC company. It will be equal to the return first is sixteen percent multiplied by its respective probability that is point thirty plus eleven multiplied by its respective probability that is fifty plus. 6 into multiplied by this respective probability that's 0.20 so I will get a total return that is equal to 11.5 percent in a similar manner I can calculate the expected return for Wipro by multiplying its return with the respective probabilities notice that we have a negative return here which means that the squarity is offering us a negative return which total is equal to 13 percent now these two figures over here are the expected returns for the ITC limited and the Wipro limited so I can say that the expected return for ITC overall for the P for overall is 11.7 percent and for that is 13 percent Now having discussed the expected return, now let me move on to the calculation of expected risk. Now uh, we know that a uh, best measure for calculating the risk is the standard deviation. So we'll take a similar example and then calculate the risk for these two squarities. Now uh, before that uh, uh, the uh, expected risk uh, for a security it is equal to the expected risk that is measured by this variance or the standard deviation it is equal to summation of the probability mul mu multiplied by the deviation of the returns that is the return on the security subtracted from the expected returns 
of this square it is whole squared now if uh, if i root it up this is going to give me now if i put a root on this so this is going to give me the measure of the standard deviation so simply by multiplying by the probability with the deviation of the returns i will get the expected risk of the uh, of the square it say taking the example uh, a similar example like we had uh, uh, states of economy now say for example we had uh, firstly a boom period then we had a normal period and then we had recession and we had we were given its probabilities 0 0.30 0 0.50 and 0 0.20 we were also given the returns on ITC as 16 11 and 6 now when I calculated the expected return on ITC it came out to be 11.7% now to take the deviation of these returns that is if the other returns of ITC I will take its deviation from the expected returns so taking the deviations of the returns of ITC from the expected return of ITC I will then square it up now 16 uh, minus 11.7 percent it is going to 11.7 percent is going to give me the expected is going to give me the deviation of the returns now uh, the expected returns uh, uh, sorry it was 11.5 percent not 11.7 now 16 minus 11.5 is equal to 4.5 11 minus 11.5 is equal to 0 0.5 and then 6, 11, 6 minus 11.5 is equal to minus 5.5 if I square this up that is return on the ITC minus the expected return on the ITC squaring this term up I will get 4.5 squared that is equal to 20.25 and 0 0.5 into squared it's equal to 0 0.25 all the minuses are going to be removed 5.5 it's equal to 30.25 now we have to multiply these returns by its probability so multiplying it with the probability uh, which is equal to return on ITC minus the expected return uh, on ITC squared so I will multiply 20.25 with its probability 0 0.30 which is going to give me 6 let me do it for you 20.25 into 0.30 which is equal to 6.075 then uh, here 0 0.25 into 0.50 which is going to give me 0 0.125 then 30.25 multiplied by its respective probability that's 20 percent it's 20 here it is equal to 0 6.050 now its total is equal to that is the summation of probability multiplied by the returns of ITC minus the expected return of ITC squared it is equal to 12.25 now this is going to give me the uh, uh, returns this is going to be the variance of this uh, uh, 
uh, of the returns on the ITC limited I can also calculate a standard deviation simply by putting up the root that is 12.25 I have to put up a root on it so it's 1 by 2 so it is going to give me the standard deviation of 3.5 percent so the total risk for the ITC limited is 3.5 percent you can calculate uh, the risk for the Wipro in a similar manner so you can try it at home thank you